The concat function is one of the newer string functions in Excel. It allows you to join two or more strings together, including ranges of cells. The concat function is only available in newer versions of Excel, starting in Excel 2019, and was intended to replace the old concatenate function. One of the best features of the concat function is that you can enter a range of cells as a parameter, whereas with the old concatenate function, you would have to enter each cell as an individual parameter. Let's take a look at how the concat function works and compare it to its predecessor, the concatenate function. Here we have four columns of data. Let's use the concat function to join the values from these four columns into a single result. To get started, let's begin by entering the concat command. As you can see, the concat function takes a series of text values as parameters. These text values can be strings, cells, or ranges of cells. You must provide at least one text value, and the function can accept up to 255 values in total. And the resulting string can be to a maximum of 8,192 characters in length. Since we want to concatenate the values from columns A to D, we will enter A2 to D2. Now let's see what our result looks like. You should see the value A, B, C, D appear in cell F2. This is the concatenated values from cells A2, B2, C2, and D2. Now let's copy our formula into cells F3 to F5. Notice that the result in cell F3 contains the value 1, 2, 3, 4 as a string value. It is important to note that the concat function will convert all parameters to strings before concatenating them together into the final result. So in this example, the numeric values 1, 2, 3, 4 were first converted to strings and then concatenated together to create the string value 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the result in cell F4 contains techonthenet.com. And finally, the last result in cell F5 concatenates the values in cells A5, B5, C5, and D5 and returns the string value alphabet. As you can see, the concat function will accept blank cells as parameters, such as cells C5 and D5. Now let's use the concatenate function in column H to create these same results. With the concatenate function, you cannot enter ranges of cells. So we start with the concatenate function and then enter A2 as the first parameter, B2 as the second parameter, C2 as the third, and D2 as the final parameter. This will give us the same result as the concat function, which is ABCD. Now let's copy our formula into cells H3 to H5. As you can see, the biggest advantage of using the concat function versus the concatenate function is when you're concatenating ranges of cells. Also, the concat function is only available in Excel 2019 and higher, whereas the concatenate function is an older function that has been around since Excel 2000. This completes our example of how to use Excel's concat function. If you would like to see more concat examples, or would like to download the sample data we use for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.